start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. In this particular video, I'm going to introduce three different characters. And I hope it's all worth it for you guys, when the time is nigh. You know? Here's the first character, just so you know. Invincible. Real name, Isabel Hogan. Height, 10 feet 6 inches. Weight, 892 pounds. Status, hero and champion wrestler. Base, San Francisco, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, flirtatious and loving. She always enjoys her own career alongside the rush of helping those in need. Lethality, extremely dangerous to most opponents. Weaknesses, she always has a problem getting used to her powers. Powers, she's unconditionally strong as well as unconditionally muscular and durable. She also has a strong healing factor. Eyes blue, hair brownish gold. Origin. Isabel Hogan was an everyday woman who desired to become the greatest wrestler in the Alpha Earth, but didn't have many skills. One day, she was transported to the Sky Fortress, where Quantum gave her a plasma injection to grant her with Hyperion level strength and thus Isabel became bulgy with powerful muscles. When Isabel went on her first wrestling match, she fought hard against the neuterer and shattered almost every bone in his body. Earning the name Invincible, Isabel is nowadays a champion wrestler and a part-time partner in BFF with Quantum, alongside other notable heroes. Costume. She normally wears a green latex suit. Teams. Solitary with the Alpha Trio, or other heroes. Original inspiration, wrestlers. Here's the next character. And for those who enjoyed the uh, description that I made for Babe, the Blue Ox, this is the continuation for that, just so you know. Lumber. Real name, Patsy Lumbers. Height, 2,500 feet. Weight, unrevealed. Status, hero, and expert lumberjack. Base, any large forest in the default earth. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, flirtatious and optimistic. She enjoys doing her work. Lethality, highly dangerous to those who threaten her. Weaknesses, she isn't always aware of her surroundings. Powers, she has great size and strength, acute sight and hearing, high willpower, and a and can equip any axe from her figurative magic satchel. Eyes greenish brown, hair brownish copper. Origin Patsy Lumbers was an average young lumberjack when she learned that she's in fact the descendant of the legendary Paul Bunyan. One night, Patsy got a vision of Paul granting her with all his power, and by the next morning, she found that she had the same size and skill as her ancestor. After testing out her powers at work, Lumber heard that Bean and Silasa were having struggles with saving San Francisco from a swarm of robotic mantids. After they defeated the swarm, the spirit of Paul Bunyan appeared to Lumber, stating that she's now a true lumberjack, granting her the blue ox babe to become her personal sidekick. Since then, Lumber and Babe would do anything to work in the forest and save the innocents at the same time. Costume. She dresses in feminine lumberjack clothes. Team solitary or with other heroes. Origin inspiration, Paul Bunyan. Here's the last character, just so you know. Webb. Real name, Jane Webb. Height, 125 feet. Weight, 45 tons. Status, villain, and LAV member. Base, Alpha Earth, Mobile. Intelligence, Four Brains. Behavior. Destructive and ruthless, yet highly intellectual. She always hates the mere thought of being rejected. Lethality. Extremely lethal. Arachnophobes, beware. Weaknesses. Toxins. She has bad anger issues. Powers. She has great size and strength. Sharp claws and mandibles. Can climb on flat surfaces can project streams of silk from her hands. 
and has a surprisingly high intellect. She later recovers her voice. Eyes deep black in total of eight. Hair grayish black and stubby. Origin. Jane Webb was an average scientist who always enjoyed spiders. One day she injected herself with a serum that should grant her with arachnid capabilities. Unfortunately, it also caused Jane to mutate into a massive titan with the head of a spider. Outraged and disgusted, Webb started running rampant across the New York City of the Alpha Earth. Eventually, Webb got defeated in a fight against the Alpha Trio, who left her more dead than alive. Soon, she got rescued by Arachna and Olga, helping Webb get back her voice. Since then, Webb would consider herself an ally with Arachna, along with becoming a notable member of the Legion of Alpha Villains. Costume? She wears a black latex suit that she got from Olga, Team Solitary, with the LAV or other villains. Original inspiration, spiders, and titans. Well, those are the three characters I'm going to introduce. And, uh... Can I be honest with you guys about something? I feel like I have to be more flawed and more willing to make mistakes. Because recently I've been developing a bit of self-doubt. And... I want my videos to be on point so that way I would get decent recognition for you guys. Because you guys are one of the main reasons why I need this podcast to be successful besides the obvious, you know, like I need to do you guys a favor, I need to entertain you guys. And I hope I'm doing this all correctly, you know, and if you guys want could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's your choice. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the Halloween and a fine next month and such. And until next time. Stay